Oh, what's up guys? This is Bubba TV 24 and welcome to the channel. Today I am in the game Get Big Simulator in Roblox and this is kind of a cutesy growth game where you are slime and your whole goal is to get bigger and to fight bosses to then go to the next area and kind of do the same thing over again. It is a simulator game. We've been here before. We know what's up, but this one is kind of different because when I started, uh, I actually have to die to do this. Um, let me show you what's up here. I guess I could have reset, but I'm going to let this slime just uh, take me out here. So I died. So as you can see right here, this Petri dish is where the game started. This is level one down here. And I guess I, oh, I can't teleport, but when you start the game, you are going to start in this Petri dish and you're going to eat little orbs. You're going to grow in size. Your HP is going to go up. Your damage is going to go up and you are going to go and eventually fight a boss and leave and jump out of the Petri dish and come to this table here. So now we are big enough to leave our little starting area. And what you're going to do is you're going to eat these little green orbs. They're going to give you some size here. I am now the size of a single gram. Uh, you're going to start with uh, nanograms. That's what you're going to start with. And then you're going to fight some uh, other enemies here like this. And I have an ability that lets me slam on the ground and do AOE damage. And then they are going to drop money. They're also going to drop some... Uh, like food orb stuff that's going to get us bigger and eventually you're going to move on to bigger and bigger enemies doing damage and as you can see here uh, these guys do not get one shot but uh, I am able to kill them in two shots and if I got big enough I could definitely one shot them you're also going to come over to your shop here and you're going to buy these chests so I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 of them because I got them and these chests are going to give you abilities and little passive upgrades stuff like that so you're going to be doing this to really upgrade your character the most and i'll show you where this is here in a moment but you can actually upgrade these things by merging so we're going to click and get out of here we're going to go to our backpack here here are all the items that i have and then you can equip here if you get enough gems you can unlock the next little slot here but if you get 10 of these items you can merge them and i don't have enough and i believe it probably takes it up to the next rarity which would be this blue here so i do have some good stuff up here and i guess i could do things like make me have slash or make me have more health but honestly i don't need the extra health if i can one shot everything and that's pretty much what i've been doing so eventually you're going to go around you're going to get big enough to where you can go and fight this boss but also up here you have a collection so you do have some slimes you can find in these areas and so i, I have one here is a crystal slime and they're kind of hidden all over the place there's one back here on this right here there we go the plastic slime and as you can see they get collected and I believe these are all in different areas the problem is I don't know how to get back to the petri dish in order to um, shrink down and find the rest of the ones that I don't have I am missing three here but they do give you some gems and I can't do this so I can't teleport just yet so we're gonna go ahead and fight this boss we're gonna challenge it and now he's gonna attack and so we can shoot from we can shoot out of our body and hit him but as you can see I'm also gonna be able to slam and do that sort of thing so we can challenge the boss to get uh, more money I guess maybe gems out of it so going slam boom hit our dude here boom He's dead. I don't actually think I got anything out of it that time, but we did it. We got it. So now we can escape the shelf now that we've gotten enough size and we can go here and we're going to go to, it looks like the table right down below and we're going to have to start collecting and start over. I don't think this guy, here we go, book slime. So that guy right there was a collectible and we're here to look for some collectibles. There's a marker. So this is very much a, looks like a find the marker marker. And these look like uh, pencil slimes or something is going on here. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay. So we're just kind of here to look around real quick, get some, uh, get some size and stuff like that. We can't actually go down yet. So that's not something we can do. We got to be careful. This is the, okay, here we go, we got a metal slime. This looks like the big baddie boss fight. And we need to be 100 grams to get out of here. So 
that is something. Can we? We cannot get out here. Oh, so we got the marker slime. And as you can see, I've got four slimes from this area. I can get five more. Oh, I see. Eh, can I get, is this one? Sticky note slime, yep, yep. Oh, one is a big piece of paper over here that I can't get to yet. I'm probably not big enough. So we're gonna have to grow in size before we can get some of these guys. And essentially you're just gonna start over. I think that there is a rebirthing option at some point, but we haven't actually gotten there yet. So I am one-shotting some of these guys. I do have a, a critical hit chance thing that's been leveled up. So I could do a lot more crit damage. That kind of thing but I'm here to basically make some cash get bigger and basically start over is what it seems like so this is a pretty simple game but I actually kind of like it simply for this idea that we can physically see what we're doing like the progress we made we started up here we then we went here and now we're here and I kind of like that I think it's kind of a neat little twist on the simulator genre honestly and uh, the fact that I'm this like little slime guy who's like just kind of growing and you can like see the progress is actually kind of neat and I think what's cool about this game too is that unlike most other simulator games when you go and fight an enemy the enemy in those games typically doesn't just fight back they kind of just stay in there and let you hit them whereas here the enemies actually fight back and if you aren't strong enough or you know can dodge their stuff then they can actually take you out and that's kind of where I'm going to leave it for today. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. I've been BubbaTV24, and I am signing out.